Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chenli's official channel. We have recently launched a new thermal camera. If you still remember this one, and the new camera is its upgraded version, which is also aimed to work with microscopes and trinoculars. This video is divided into two parts: installation and its performance. Here you can see the package includes the camera, a bracket, a pack of screwdrivers, and a data cable. On the bracket, you can find a slot where we slide the camera in. In order to do so, we need to use a smaller screwdriver to loosen both screws. Firstly. Now, slide the camera in. Be careful with the direction. Make sure the bracket would not cover the Type C port. There are two places we recommend to install the thermal camera. First one is to fix at the horizontal arm of the microscope bracket. This way can make sure the camera lens capture images right above the object. You only need to move the microscope slightly to switch the thermal image to normal image. The second one is to fix at vertical column. This way can make sure the thermal camera and the microscope capture images at the same time. And today we choose the first way as example. Fix the upper part of the bracket to a proper position. Leave the rest bracket and adjust after we see the image. Find the data cable in the package. Here you can see the Type C port comes with two screw locks, which can guarantee the image transferring would not stop from device shaking. Connect the other end of the data cable to the host computer, which has downloaded the software Chenly IR for PC. Take off the lens cover, press the power button, and hold it until it turns on. Open the software, adjust the bracket according to the image shows on the software, and then fix the screws on the bracket. Now let's try with a main board. We have already known that the electrical leakage is about 19 milliampere. Power on the board and place it under the camera. Now we can adjust the focusing ring around the lens to get a clear image. The detection result shows very clearly on the software interface. The leakage component is now very easy to locate. You can also adjust some of the software settings according to the room or the object temperature. The main goal of the software setting is to make sure you can tell the electricity leakage as easy as possible. This tool is not only to help with technicians to detect the board issues, but also help the repair shops to clarify to their customers why the board is defective and needs to get repaired. Customers may not know what electrical leakage means, but if you show them the thermal image, at least they understand how bad it is. Okay, this is the video for today. How do you like the camera?